What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this motherfucking video today. All right, so y'all already know the situation that's going on. I feel like it's split half and half. Some people want to see Leslie come out with her video and figure out what the fuck she has to say. The other half doesn't want to hear shit she has to say and have already made up their mind, okay? I honestly want to see what she has to say. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell that ain't your mama, that ain't Uncle Joe, that he's still a fucking hoe. All right, so I wanted to go back to this prank, y'all, okay? Because I feel like this prank had a lot of information that has led up to the point that they're at right now, in my opinion, okay? I really don't even have to say much during this prank for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. This prank was done on Chris about getting nasty with Jeremiah, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the video, man, because there's gonna be a lot of things that are disclosed in this prank video, and there's gonna be a lot of truth in this video. I feel like Leslie had concerns that were bubbling up, okay? And she used this prank to kind of try to get some clarity on her and Chris's situation, okay? Chris wasn't feeling it, and y'all gonna see why. Um, let's get into it, y'all. When I was in Jay's house, we were talking, he was asking me how's everything going with me and YouTube and stuff. I said, oh, everything's going good. And he started touching me, started kissing me and stuff. And you were letting him kiss you? Yeah. Well, that's not what you just told me yesterday. I heard it from me that day. But I'm going to be honest, and I'm not going to tell you the truth. Because I don't want to feel it. So you lied, so you lied to me is pretty much the truth I'm telling you the truth now. I lied and said nothing happened because I asked you. So I don't mind you standing, I mean, or, or, or hanging out with people, men, penises. I don't mind you hanging out with people, but simultaneously. <laughs> Chris said, cannot be serious. Don't let nothing happen. And when you can not right So what is. So what it sounds like is the agreement that Chris is thinking in his mind is we can hang out with whoever and you can hang out with whoever, but don't do nothing with that person out of respect for what we build and what we got going on. I said, don't let nothing happen. And when you came so back, right now, right? we're single, why can't I? I'm single, Because I'm here. Honestly, I was like thinking in my head, I was like, he's probably got a girl in the house. I haven't spoken to so, I so basically, Leslie is saying right here, like, we're single though, okay? And I've heard her say this in multiple videos. We're single though. Like, why can't I do what I want to do? All right? I don't know whenever I leave and I'm back home in Florida. I don't know if you're fucking your baby mamas. I don't know if you have other bitches in the house that, you know, or other bitches in the bed that I be laying in when I come to visit you, which are fair um what do you call them fair concerns right you know so i feel like this is her way of kind of bringing up that talk and trying to figure out like how they can move forward and you know what they're going to do moving forward i'm going to just go suck on a girl too because i feel like you're doing something you're not here with something chris has a good point on that too he said so i'm supposed to go suck on a girl's titties because I think that you, I don't know what you're doing back home. That doesn't make any sense. So I get where Chris is coming from here. That's not right, though, Lizzie. You know that's not right. But I feel like this is something we need to talk about. If we can be with other people. I'm saying, hold on, hold on, So you, for real, you're not playing this on no fucking prank. You have sex with Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah. You had sex with now I'm honestly wondering, was this really a prank or did she really have sex with Jeremiah? Not that it's any of our business. I'm just wondering now, you know? Dude, corny dude. <laughs> I just want to be honest with you, Chris. I want to be able to tell you everything. Yeah, they can say corny dude. But my thing is, why did you buy it in the first place when I asked you, did you have sex? Because I would much rather tell you a person. I didn't want to tell you over the phone and you lash out, but just tell you something in person. That's serious, something we should talk about. I'm still mad as fuck at them shorts, Chris. Okay, I'ma just say that. Why are they so fucking tight on your ass? Give CJ his shorts back, anyway. Person. Oh, okay. Okay. So we use the like, like that's gonna be better. <laughs> Big, come here. Okay. 
Come on. That's why I know this wasn't gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Because if I'm hitting that, that's my pussy. Just be honest. The same goes for you too. So you get to go fuck other niggas, fuck niggas that you used to fuck with, but then you get mad over little stuff if I'm on a girl live. But you might get home with mom in the house and I didn't know you She said you had your whole baby mama in the house. So it seems like she has things that have bothered her, but she hasn't been vocal about it. Okay, she's only been vocal about small things, but the shit that really bothers her, it seems like she is not vocalizing these things, guys. That's what I'm getting from this video, you know? And now she feels like she can vocalize it because, because this is a prank, so it takes some of the pressure off, but really this conversation needed to be discussed. These things needed to be brought up. What happened from here, guys? I don't fucking know, you know, but anyway. Because she wasn't here. I told you she but dropped just like, the just like I then, told you that I did over the phone, same thing. I will never know the truth. But she's seen you live, so you're just saying that you don't know the truth. <laughs> you know, they both would never know the truth. I'm not even going to lie. That, you're really disgusting me right now. Because that shit is that shit not even cool or cute at the same time because none of them don't think, oh, I fucked that bitch. I but I'm not your bitch. Bro, you know what I'm talking about, Leslie. You know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. I think you're gonna be like, he know that we talk. He know that we talk, and now he gonna have an upper hand and be like, oh yeah, fuck this nigga, bitch. My thing is, that's what I'm about. My thing is, girls in this house. My thing is, is I don't have no females in this house. You know that. I don't have no females in this house. You can tell Leslie just doesn't like believe it. I don't think she believes that Chris can be faithful. I don't think that she believes that she be the only one that he be talking to and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe this is all a front and maybe she's just trying to put it all on Chris and knows that he can be faithful to her. Possibly. But it seemed like Leslie do not trust Chris as far as she could throw him. And that's not very far. Okay, let me know how y'all feel. True feelings in the comment section. My thing is if you would have told me this, I wouldn't need a suspicion yet. You didn't have space for me. I was in with you for five days. I don't care. If you would have told me that, nah. you would not be here right now. Facts, though. Facts. What if it wasn't him? What if it was somebody else? Still? Still? Yes. So, let me get this right. So, we're not in a relationship and we, we can't sleep with other people. What? We're not in a relationship and we can't sleep with other people. Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> not. We cannot sleep other people. The same applies well, to you. Okay, then cool. If you want to. Well, I gotta get my nut out. <laughs> what? I get my nut You gotta get his revenge nuts. Let me get my nut out and I feel more comfortable. I feel more secure. <laughs> and this, how, how, how does that bring security to us? Because you're not security. If you can't have sex with somebody, you got a crush on Right, let me do it too. Let me go I feel you, Chris. Booty, bitch. I feel you, Chris. I feel you, Chris. And I'm going to use a condom. <laughs> Just to make you feel better. So we already seeing the tit for tat pettiness back and forth. This is a prank, yes, but there is so much truth that be coming out in these pranks. And I remember during this time, I was like, man, it's not a good idea for them to be doing these pranks and shit, man. You know, because it can really ruin what you have and stuff like that. And really a lot of truth, as we are seeing here, guys, comes out in these pranks. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll black box. Like, is that by you? Oh my God. I've never seen the black box. Okay. But yeah, okay, cool. You know what? I'm going to go do that. And then we eat it. So we can have sex with other people. We can have sex with other people, right? So we got a relationship. Okay, cool. I'm not tripping. Go ahead and do your thing. I sleep around with nobody else if we're sleeping together. That's another one. But you just did it. I'm lying. <laughs> you know what? You already exactly my thing. I don't mean nothing. I shouldn't shrink back. Facts. Facts, Chris. Facts. Facts. This is the 
<laughs> you might be doing Kegel exercises, okay, with the, with the Legsley bands, you feel me? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's not, but I was just like, I know they cannot do that. <laughs> so it seemed like Leslie also wants some clarity on that too, like look, if we're smashing, all right, and we got something going, then I don't want you smashing nobody else and I'm not gonna be smashing nobody else, you know? Now, leading up to this situation, like what has happened, what they was just in Puerto Rico, like what, a month ago, something like that? And, you know, everybody's like, damn, what the fuck? Like, you now you're back with Josue, and I know damn well Josue ain't took your ass to Hawaii, got matching Aloha tattoos, and that nigga ain't smash. You can't tell me that, bro. So a lot of people are wondering, like, how did you go from one dick to the next dick? Okay, that fucking quick. But we have to know, old dick. That's her old dick. And that was her, damn, this is very, very uh, vulgar. All I can say is Josue and her were in a long-term relationship. I think that was her most recent long-term relationship, okay? So it ain't like she fucking Pedro, Rodrigo, and all these other niggas. She went back to her old dick, okay? Her old man. Didn't she just have a place with this man or, you know, they were staying together or something like that and then she finally moved out and got her own place? So guys, it has only been a couple months that Chris and Leslie have been building, you know, and trying to make this shit work. But as you guys can see, man, there have been chinks in the armor, okay? There have been tit for tat pettiness going on, unclear boundaries and stuff like that, you know? And we can tell that there's trust issues there. She doesn't really trust him, he don't really trust her. So if you don't have trust, you ain't got shit. And if you don't have effective communication, all right, I say effective because you can communicate all day about something but still not have any clear boundaries, still not have an understanding of what the fuck this is. If you don't have effective communication, um, you're really not going to be able to know what the fuck y'all have going on, all right? And then the lines get murky, it's blurred lines, it's murky waters, it's dangerous territory, you know, especially when you have Leslie who just is fresh off of a breakup, just moving out, you know, a couple months ago she just moved out of the crib with her last long-term boyfriend. I need, to see, I need to see some proof. <laughs> How can I show you proof? <laughs> she did want to talk about that though. You could tell she really wanted to talk about that and clear up some shit. And I don't know if they talk more about that after this prank, but... Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. I'm sending much love to Chris, much love to Leslie as well. You know, I feel like this is a difficult situation on both ends. A lot of people are shitting. I'm talking about massive dumps being fucking poured on Leslie right now, you know? And, and most people would say, you know, as it should be. Now, I feel like the story is gonna be incomplete until Leslie comes out and speaks her piece, you know? And I know a lot of people say that they, 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 they're they done with Leslie and they don't want to hear shit she has to say, but I bet the same people are going to be the first ones on that fucking video as soon as Leslie drops it, okay? So, like I said, man, I try to be fair. I really do try to be fair. I understand why people are upset at Leslie, okay? Uh, it's a tough pill to swallow, especially when your last nigga did you so dirty, you know? Um, and then you end up going on a vacation with them. Even though Josue went on live and said that they were just friends. Okay, Chris and Leslie said they were just friends, but they were fucking. Okay, they were fucking. All right, I hate to be vulgar, but they were fucking, okay? It's friends fuck too, all right? So just because they don't have a label on whatever the fuck they got going on, man, you know, like, that's her ex. They're in Hawaii getting aloha tattoos, bitch, they fucking. Chris did come out with his video saying that they really didn't have boundaries. They really didn't even, I guess they had a few boundaries, like, you know, what they just mentioned in this video. And then also we have to realize that Chris and Leslie fell out, okay? They fell out after the trip to Puerto Rico, they fell out. They weren't on the best terms, okay? It would be different if Chris and Leslie were still on great terms and then she ended up going to motherfucking Hawaii with her ex. Okay, but if I fall out with a person and we're not in a relationship, we're just talking. Yeah, we might be building something, but we're just talking and we fell out and I end up entertaining my ex and we go on vacay. I really don't feel like I owe you that explanation. Would it be nice to inform somebody, even though y'all are probably not talking at the time, fell out, not on good terms. 
Um, it would be nice to let that person know, but I'm not gonna feel obligated. Everybody feels different about that though. You know, I've been through my own experiences. I'm, I'm basing this off of my own experiences. The woman that I'm with right now, okay? I remember having to sit her down and let her know that I did something with somebody, you know, when we were in the talking stages. I had to sit her down and tell her that. And I waited months to tell her, guys. I waited months to tell her, but I felt like I needed to get it off my chest. And I was just like, hey, you know, um, while we were talking or whatever, I ended up doing something with this girl or whatever the case may be. And actually she was very understanding. I didn't think she would be understanding. I was really scared, fucking shaking in my boots to tell her because um, I just didn't know how she was gonna take it. I didn't know if she was gonna be like, I don't wanna talk to you again or whatever. But she ended up respecting me coming to her and telling her. Um, but like I said, I waited months. That wasn't like, okay, I told her right away type shit, you know? So like I said, man, I'm speaking from a place to where I could see both sides and I wanna give everybody a fair opportunity. And I really wanna see what Leslie has to say about this. I really do. Um, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I have to try to see both sides and I have to try to be fair, as fair as possible, especially based on my own experiences. I'm not going off of what, you know, is out there. I'm going off of what I've been through you know, and particular stages in my life. Yeah, man, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel, DM me lit videos to react to. Tell a friend, tell a friend of today, Angel Mama, today, Uncle Joey, still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next mother freaking video. What I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.